uh, doing a quick little video here. Um, so this is going to be the final on the Hummer truck. Um, turned out really, really cool. Um, I do like the color. Color is a wicked color. Um, I don't really have too many complaints. I do need to work on cutting bodies and stuff. And you'll see there's just nothing I can do about it. All I can do is kind of move that up a little bit and just let it sit there. But, um, yeah, so the Hummer truck is 100% done. And one weekend I decided to do an airplane. So I got this guy done. Thunderbolt jet and boy that's going to be bright off the windows but I got some of the decals on I kind of tried to like sand that a little bit so it looked like smoked but I got some of the decals on um, did I put any others on? Uh, oh base and then I just repainted, repainted the base black and then put that on there. So these two are done. Um, I'm sure you guys can hear the printer going in the background. So I've been printing out another robot. Um, and that's going to be coming up on the channel after the Optimus Prime stuff's all done. I think I got probably about four, three or four videos to put up. And then Father's Day was yesterday. So, and I've kind of been all over the place lately, but some of these, some of these figures are really, really cool. Really detailed. Light from outside kind of kills it, but lots of detail. Um, if you go to the Facebook page I, I, I put better pictures up there but yeah it's kind of crazy and this I, I'll show the the box art here in a minute oh Wargamer storms storm of Sigmar not really sure what that means I don't I don't really know the whole story but you get Warhammer book kind of goes over some of the rules and instruction booklet and then you have like stack cards with a really cool picture on the other side I like the pictures I, I might even up behind me, you'll if if you ever get a chance, there's um, I take the display boxes and I've been putting them up on the wall to you know kind of art. Um, but some of these pictures are really really cool. I you know, and like I said, it just gives all the stats on each type of character. See, look at that. That just looks cool. And then, uh, like, I, I don't know what a rangefinder is. I, I'm assuming it has something to do with six inches, because that's how long the tape measure is, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna be learning this for the next couple weeks. Um, this is what my son got me yesterday for Father's Day. Um, Oh yeah, and it comes with little bitty dice. There's six of them. Seven dice. So I don't know what those are for. I'm assuming to roll and take your turn and all kinds of other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've been up to. Um, I've been working on some more figures, but... Um, like I repainted the Tau army. So these used to be purple, 
So I, I put them in uh, simple green and really like how these turned out. Um, this is a master touch color, orange. And then like I put a wash over that and then I dry brushed like an orange and a yellow. It, you can tell, like it may not be able to tell it in the, the video here, but there's actual yellow spots and stuff in the armor now. I did do a couple spots where like the like they have little bitty pouches on the back. I tried to paint those brown. Um, I did light blue in some of the detail spots like where the lens is and did some red for some of the, the like the um, video camera stuff. Um, but yeah, um, kind of rambling on. So, oh, I'm going to be doing, I started this Batman thing. This is for the Bat Pod. I got the pack where you get Batman standing and Batman crouched down so we can ride the bike. And little bitty Reaper figure there. Um, I've been working on this one. 